Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, cloudy day in Arizona. Temperature of 80 degrees. You gotta love it. Heading to a call. Look at that. Look at them clouds. It's beautiful. You know, I prefer cleaning pools over trimming trees. But bless their hearts. Good morning, YouTube. Gotta love YouTube. People ask me all the time, how did you learn about pool stuff? I say, I went to YouTube University. So hopefully now I can be a professor. But I'm still learning as I go. Uh, customer had really high pressure in their filter. When it comes to find out, come to find out, they have deadheaded their system from allowing water to flow back into the pool or into the spa. So it's kind of a tricky one because you have the cartridge filter here. First, I always, always follow where the plumbing goes. Anything on this side of the pipe of the pump is your suction side. So we have a couple options here. Skimmer, vacuum, spa. Spa is off. So there's no suction in this pump. Vacuum is on about 70% or so and skimmer's on about 60 to 70 and skimmer is about 30 to 40% because you have this little diverter in here that's shutting off a little bit of this pipe and this pipe's fully open. So you're, you're causing the pump to pull more water through your vacuum. It gets pulled through here, into your pump, out of your pump. Now it's going into your filter. As it goes through the filter, there's four cartridges in there and water goes through the cartridges and captures the particles comes through the cartridges out this pipe. This is where it gets kind of tricky and confusing because the pipe actually goes into the ground. It goes underground into your heater, heats up the water out of the heater, back down the pipe, underground, and it comes up through this pipe in the middle. So the pipe runs up, the water runs up this pipe, it can either go, you know, you can have your aerator on, that valve is broken, but it can turn the aerator on. But as you can see, the flow was completely shut off. So essentially this pipe is off. Water has nowhere to go. So then the pressure in the filter is really high because water has nowhere to travel. And these valves have these little symbols on here, inlet. So that inlet should actually be down here. So we're gonna take this apart, flip it around, put inlet here, and we'll explain why here in a second. All right, so we flipped the cover around. Inlet was up here, we flipped it around. The reason for that is water is coming through here. This is your inlet, water's coming in. These little tabs right here are very important because they prevent this handle, you see the little piece there, from turning when it's in the proper position. So we'll set it there. It stops the water, or it stops the handle from deadheading your system. I can't turn it. I mean, if I physically force it, I can break that little plastic piece in there. But if the valve won't turn any further, it's because it's designed to do that. Now I cannot deadhead my system. See, now I'm shutting off water flow to my pool. If I'm wanting to use my spa, if I'm wanting to use my regular pool cleaning, I'll just go back here and have all the water returning to the pool and shut off the spa. And that's how you do it. And so now their pressure is not going to be crazy high in the pump and everything's going to run like it's supposed to. And that is your tip of the day, YouTube. Take care, my friends. Here for season, y'all. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though.